The custom forms add-on is used to add more forms in your IDX broker pages. The sign up custom form, which is the one you see here, was created because sometimes leads sign up through your site twice or more and IDX Broker doesn't notify you about this. If you add in our sign up custom form and leads sign up twice or three times um, using this one, you'll always receive a notification from us. If it's the first time they're signing up, the information will be added to IDX Broker directly in the lead section over here in leads and manage. They will show up here. But if it's the second or third time, um, we will send you the information through email and then you can decide if you want to update their contact information or if you want to send them an email or give them a call. It's very easy to use. All you have to do is to add in a header for your contact form. You can add in a redirect URL if you want um, them to be redirected somewhere after submitting the form. If not, they will stay in the same page. And this is an example. There is also some custom CSS here that you can modify. And once you finish, you click on Save Changes. Let's preview this sign up custom form and let's add in a title, which is also optional. And then let's try it on JS Fiddle. This is how the form would look, and you can just add it on any IDX page. And it says sign up here, the title that we gave the form, and then leads can add in their first name, last name, email, phone number, city, and what they want to do or what they're interested in. This is the sign up custom form, and we have another one called contact custom form. And this one was basically created so that you can add two forms in the same page. So let's see this example. This is a website that has two forms. The first one is coming from IDX Broker, the one you see here, request more information. And the second one in the footer is the contact custom form. Um, the contact custom form requires another form. So this needs to be the second form that you are using. So you have to have the IDX Broker one, and then you can use this one right here. The information added by leads on any of these forms will go onto your email as well. Um, it also has a custom CSS panel, and I added this right here for you to see, um, just so that you can learn how to um, remove um, some type of information from your form. So before this CSS, this is how the form looked like, and you have the option using CSS to remove some of these boxes. You have to use coding, um, but it's very easy. So what you want to do is to click on inspect. And then you click on this button right here. And let's imagine you want to remove this entire section. You click on the plus sign, you copy this, you paste it here. This is the final code. I'll just leave this here um, for you to see how it will look at the end. So what we did is we added um, what showed up after we clicked on the plus sign here, and we want to add a div. After that, if you only want to remove that, um, you would just continue with this right here. But um, let's imagine that we want to remove another section. We add a comma, click on this button right here. And let's imagine we want to remove the email address section. It signals it right here. We click on the plus sign, copy it, paste it here, add a div, and then just add this at the end. And let's remove um, the code right here and close this. So what we did with the custom CSS code is that we removed the when are you available box and the email address box. So when we add it, it removes those boxes. And you can do the same thing for any of these, for the message, when are you available, phone, last name, first name, and full name, following the steps I just showed you. Um, then you just click on Save Changes. And then let's preview this code. It says null because that's the title right here, but you can add whichever title you'd like. And this would be the custom contact us form. You can also add more CSS to customize it more. You can base yourself out of the sign up custom form if you'd like, but it's just a matter of preferences. You can change the color or whatever you want to do 
um, using CSS. And then the codes that you have here and here can be added on your IDX pages wherever you want to show them. So this is how the custom forms works. It's very easy and you can make sure that you're always receiving information from your leads and that you're always aware of who is signing up through your site.